welcome to Music Realm. Now this was my road trip away. Um, Mick took me to Beamish Living World Museum in Durham. And as you can see from the aerial view, surrounded in natural countryside, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And now we move on to the old bus. Again, the nostalgia, the, it takes you back. It, it was literally, you walk back in time. And, and for me, I do, I really enjoy this sort of thing. I've never been on a tram before. So getting the chance to ride one of these amazing pieces of machinery, you know, built to last, it's just fantastic. And I think they look pleasing to the eye as well. What they did with the streets was they dismantled and brought in these buildings and reconstructed them, preserving the layout and the way that these houses were. As you can see, the workers here uh, are all role-playing and dressed up in the uniforms and costumes of, of the day. The Rowley train station is exactly as it would have been in Georgian times. Its replication is down to a T, with original workings from the levers in the signal box to the actual railway station itself. In the 1940s, the farm workers and the helpers, which were local villagers, would all join in and um, help towards keeping the country going at the time of war. This is a colliery that was here, original. This wasn't reconstructed, this was already here. Again, step back in time, just an experience. Collieries were such a, an integral part of the community because it would have all been local people working within the coal mines and that industry at the time. And here is the blacksmith working away on something. Again, you know, blacksmiths were such a big part of living Britain. Inside these houses were just amazing and you couldn't escape how it must have felt to be living in one of these small houses with families that weren't just one or two children. Another big favourite of mine is these locomotives, the steam age, the engineering that's involved. And I love the way that they're all dressed up in the period dress and they, <laughs> you know, they're all acting their role, their part. And they're always um, happy to talk to you. We got some very engaging conversations. Now, for those that are disabled um, and can't walk too far, the transport they provide it's all once you've paid your ticket to get in it's all free so you you don't have to walk everywhere you can just jump on a tram jump on a bus i say jump but if you just say you know what i mean you can get around quite easily and me being disabled i used crutches uh to get around this place and uh yeah it's it's long and all the rest of it but it does make it easier to have the transport there. Now this was such a joy. Um, got great big windows on the tram as we leave the town and then into this just amazing, beautiful countryside. Just sit back and take it in and think back to the days when it was just a different pace, a 
different way. Now as we come to the end of the journey, these two beautiful white horses on the left here, aren't they magnificent? Aren't they just beautiful? Now is time to let you have a little insight into a Freemason's Lodge. We get to see and feel and read everything that's inside the lodge. So if you are interested in Freemasonry, keep watching. Now you don't normally get to touch and feel and be so close to these very secretive organisations. Um, we had a long talk with the lady who was dressed up in the period costume who had a lot of knowledge about the Freemasons and also about the the women's freemasonry as well which was very interesting and i know that w those that are watching this have their take and perspective on the freemasonry but it is quite a magnificent place 